everybody, this is April, also known as Grandmama. This is Grandmama, also known as April. <clears throat> Today I want to talk to you about rolling blackouts. Rolling blackouts. If you've lived in Texas for a while, in California for a while, it's a systematic turning off of utilities for certain areas. You are like staggering or taking turns having utilities so even the weathermen are saying it's gonna be a really hot summer okay so the reason they do that california and texas is because they're saying that they don't want to overload the system meaning the whole city will be blacked out in certain parts of California and certain parts of Texas. I think it was uh, Houston the last time. I think it might've been when they had, it was some kind of weather problem, but they had to make them, they made them take turns getting power. Okay, so they're projecting a very, 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 very hot summer. Okay, so when the heat is on, the people turn that air conditioner down. Okay, so what's really going to happen to the elderly, the ill? I don't know. I know about me, okay? Uh, my plan is to stick with God. I'm just going to keep telling you this until you either make a decision or you just Stop listening to me and him and others all together. And it would probably quickly lead to your demise. Uh, unfortunately, it's probably going to be some heat-related deaths this summer. Okay? Because probably coming to a city near you, if you're in a major city, they're probably going to have rolling blackouts. Now, my cousin and I had a conversation. Her power went out yesterday, and we, now keep in mind, we live in two different states. Her power went out yesterday and stayed off approximately three hours with no rainfall. Guess what happened here? Power out for three hours and no rainfall. Hmm. Now, I already have ADD. So I noticed a lot of things, but I didn't put it together until I talked to my cousin. I, would, I, would, I already was suspicious because it hadn't rained or anything here. I'm like, why is the power off? So when I talked to her, she said she had already told her husband because it was multiple areas in the city. She said, mm, 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 something about this ain't right. No rain, they just all for three hours. So I put it together. We put it together because sometimes God just gives seers the heads up like he says he's going to do in the Bible. I'm not saying that they're going to give a rolling black, uh, blackout, but it's a high probability. If they're doing the same thing in the different states, mm, mm, mm. Usually something sinister is going on. I'm just keeping it, keeping it real. I'm trying to keep you informed. So, what is one to do? People like me are usually on a fixed income. So, I don't have access to a generator. Uh, what else would I need? Uh, I won't be able to keep my apartment cool. I just won't. So... What's one to do? Well, maybe you have a generator. Now, remember, they are not, unless, I think they might be making indoor generators, but make sure that your generator is outside, not in the house, okay? Because you could actually die from the fumes. So what are you going to do? Now would be a good time to develop a relationship with God. Now, now, now. And tell your children. 
and make sure you check on people that might not be able to purchase all of these things that will keep them cool, okay? Now, they might have agencies and, or places where people could go and hang out during the daytime because of the heat. Now, a lot of, well, some cities are going to have that available. If you're, if you know you don't have, now some, back in the day where I'm from, people would die with a ceiling fan in their window because it still was too hot. It was too hot for, I don't mean a ceiling fan, I meant a window fan. They still died because it was still too hot. So what's going to happen to you? I'm, you know, I'm grandmama now. I'm concerned. I need to know. I want to know. I'm telling you what to do. Now how he's going to do it, I don't know. What he's going to do, I don't know. But this I know. He gave me a contract, and he know I'm one to read that contract and say, hold on, Daddy God, now this is what you told me. And he said, sure, dear. See, because he loves it when we tell him what he said. Okay. So I woke up. I was a little concerned, and then he let me hear Aretha Franklin, God will take care of you. And I'm like, sure will. That's what I know. My grandfather and my grandmother, and maybe my mother every now and then. Sure enough, sure we are from the South. But anyway, hey, I, I'm not worried because what can I do? What can I do? I don't have the money to go and buy out all these things. I'm just trusting God. At some point, you're just going to have to trust God. At some point, you need to establish a relationship with God. So he's going to be like, who that? I don't know them. Please, this is grandmama. What you going to do? You got to make up your mind. The clock is ticking. All right. I want you to stay safe, but it's it's just really up to you. You know, I've been on the horn for a minute telling you about God. Eventually, eventually, he's going to close the door. Okay? You know, like old man Noah, when they were beating on the wooden vessel saying, Hey, bro, let me in. Did you know Noah preached for like 120 years telling people it was going to rain and they laughed at him until the waters came. Wasn't no laughing matter. Just like this summer is not going to be a laughing matter. But guess where I'm going to be? Somewhere chillaxing, literally. Okay? Much love.